uh, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So I'm at uh, Bromley North train station, as you can see here. It's a very short line. It goes from Bromley North up to Sundridge Park, <laughs> and that's it. But it is a train station. And uh, as you can see, I'm uh, outside Peter Moore's uh, Coins and Medals. And I, I'm going to go in there and talk to Peter and uh, about his shop. He's been here for many years. He's got another customer in there now, so I thought I'd come here and uh, film from outside. There, he, there it is. So, uh, I'll show you here. And uh, that's where, where he is. So, uh, I'll uh, see you inside. Got that. Right. Uh, yep, in sort of basic grade kind of thing. So presentable but not terribly expensive. Let me just check the list. Uh, bronze, copper, sort of references. Da -da 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 -da. Various. There you go, about five to good five. Presentable for a five for each. Is that the ones? You can have all five. Times five. Da -da -da -da. At the five, that's not a problem. There we go, sort of references, 3D. There we go, right. Well, there is an 1893. Here we are. Yes, Jubilee Head. The basically 1893 was the start of the the Widow's Head, but there's a few uh, like January, February, March Jubilee Heads made. Not many, and then they changed to the. Hi everyone. I'm here at Peter Morris Coins and Medals in Bromley North Station. I've spoken about Peter quite a few times on the uh, channel, and uh, someone asked me today if I could do a, a little video. I've come to uh, look at some coins. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, Peter, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how long you've been here, and what you do exactly? Yeah, I've been here, well, the shop's been here for, um, gosh, uh, at least 30 years. I gave up teaching when I was 40, and uh, I had the shop here uh, just evenings and weekends, and I've been here for 30 years. So um, everyone knows me, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and people come in. There's, there's nothing. <laughs> All right. This is one of my customers. He collects Spanish coins. I saw him last Saturday at the London show. He, he sort of said, anything new in since last week? And the answer is no. Okay. But um, people come in all day long buying, offering me medals and coins and things, or treasures that someone in the family's died and left, or they want to know what their collections were, so we told them that. 99% um, of people who want to sell something take my offer, which is reassuring that we're making the right offers you know we don't, we're not in business to rip people off you know if someone wants to sell something they want to know what it's worth a lot of antique shops people will say things like um, what do you want for it and the answer is no idea lots of money please but yeah. we always tell people I mean they don't like to hear someone that their Churchill crown this my Churchill crowns <laughs> that they're worth five bob we have hundreds yeah. there yeah. Uh, and they'll swear blind they paid five pounds for it and they'll know you paid five bob um, but there we are that's life um, but so equally, you can pick that up if you want, and then we'll continue. Yeah. Go on, then. Hello, uh, Peter is getting some of the trays out from his uh, numismatic coins. So, Peter, could you tell us what kind of coins you do? Aside, you do numismatic, of course, which is collector's coins mm -hmm. uh, from all around the world. Uh, but you also deal sometimes in a uh, bullion if people want to sell uh, bullion right, or yeah. buy, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm aware on your on your sort of. Um, Vlog, is it a vlog? Yeah, it's a YouTube channel, yeah, don't, a vlog, don't, don't a vlog, if you want. I, I don't yeah, it doesn't it. matter. But um, <laughs> a lot, of, we, we've probably got about 20 people who like to buy one ounce silver coins, they call themselves stackers, St yeah. and they come in on a regular basis and just like to buy whatever I've got in terms of one ounce coins in yeah. silver. Um, gold is much more expensive, of course. Yeah. I just got, yesterday, the um, a couple of the new 2022 Memorial Sovereigns. Oh, with, I see. With King Charles. Oh, I see. I'll put it on a little... Okay, you see that? That's, you can, let me put it on a little tray, perhaps. It might be easier. Mick, can I just... I'll pick it up here. And, yeah, uh, pick, have a look. Can you see that? The viewers, yeah. It's the new King Charles 2022 Sovereign Memorial. Okay. Yeah, they, they made a proof one as well. Um, mm, uh, okay. That's meant to be... Um, 
So did someone sell that to you? No, no, well, the raw milk did. Oh, okay, so <laughs> you, now you, you're going to, you know, people are customers. asking for it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's, yeah. I've got a couple of people who email said they want yeah. the new Charles yeah. of the Sovereign. But yeah. later on in the year, perhaps Easter, oh no, after the coronation, there's going to be yeah. the 2023 Sovereigns yeah. um, with Charles's head. But, but obviously, um, no one quite knows. It might well be George the Dragon Reverse. Oh, I see. Which is the standard thing you've got on Sovereigns all, all right, the time. Yeah. Is that so the uh, Pistrucci uh, design? Yes, yeah, Benedetto yeah. Pistrucci. Benedetto. That's yeah. the one. What um, about, uh, you also get sometimes like uh, what they call junk silver, like a, a US uh, half dollar. Kennedy yeah, we've got yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. It stopped basically in 64. 64 is yeah. the last date. Yeah, that's for Kennedy 90%, house. 90% silver. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So, uh, yeah, everyone uh, that's listening and is in London or in the UK and you want to visit uh, Peter Morris, I think it's the only really local point shop around where I live or even South in London. Southeast London, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, there's the London dealers, but they're sometimes a bit sort of sniffy. They just like yeah. to sell things for thousands of pounds. All right. Whereas yeah, we so sell things for like, you know, five yeah. pounds to yeah. 500. Just before we finish, what did you used to teach again? At German and French. German and French. And you mm -hmm. went to uh, Oxford, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, Christchurch. Yeah, and you, you have a degree, uh, what's your degree? Do I taught this? German and French. Oh, German and French, okay. Yeah, that's what I taught afterwards. That Great. That makes sense. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you, Peter, for your time. And uh, I'm going to go now look at some coins with Peter and uh, buy some. All right. Thank you, Mario. You're welcome. Cheers.